Hello, hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the good side of this energy because the energy is really intense for a lot of people. The good side is it's opening the door for a lot of divine connections to actually take place in the physical. So for some people, this is going to be what you've worked on for 10 years, what you've worked on for 20 years. And I have to say it here, there is uh, quite a few planetary alignments just in this season alone. There's five planetary alignments. Now, right now, as I'm doing this, there is a Mercury retrograde going on. Here's the really weird thing about Mercury and the retrograde action it provides. There is retrograding. That's what the word means. You're getting pushed back to attend to some things that... Maybe you didn't do it the right way the first time around. Maybe you didn't do it at all. Maybe you didn't know what to take action on. Now is the time to take action. And I'm strongly cautioning people, please discern what you need to take action on. Because come the solstice, there will be yet another sort of rift with people feeling like they're stuck and people feeling relieved that they did the things that they did now because the payoff is coming, because they're going to literally feel like they are flung forward. Now, the other aspect of this is a time compression. So if there were, let's say, a tarot card about what this energy is, it is going to be the Three of Cups, which means fill your heart with the things you love. I'm just distilling it, making it basic. Eight of Cups prioritize and leave behind whatever you need to leave behind. Just walk away. And I'm going to say it like this. Please walk away from those pretend soulmate relationships, those karmic soulmates, your false twins. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Cut the connection. Stop looking. Stop imagining. It's probably not going to serve you whatsoever, no matter what you've been trying Hope is a good thing when you're on a journey, but at some point, hope needs to turn into action. So if you've been hoping beyond hope, beyond hope, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you're lacking the discernment that it takes to really tell who a person is to you, because this is where the playing field gets leveled. Everyone's here to apologize, give back, give back what they took from you. And if that's been their role in your life and you're having trouble letting them go, please get some help from me. Okay, please do something. That's when it's time to take the actions because it will wind up hindering you and leaving you stuck and making you feel like you've wasted time. And I, I'm only going to say it like this. Can you really afford to be wrong about things? Like how much, how long can you afford being wrong about stuff? Are there things that that person owes you? Is there something that, you know, like you should be beyond the karmic lessons. We have repeated those again and again and again. So that is what this energy is about. When you just walk away and you leave certain things undone, you leave it half finished, because you know what? You're never going to finish that project. Okay. The other one is Wheel of Fortune. Hey, the world is your oyster. As you let go, many more things can open up for you. And that's a big part of the energy that is coming in right after the solstice. So if you think that the world is going wild now and trying to break free and like, you know, throw things off and make changes... This is a time when positive changes and actual action plans have to move into place. It needs to go from the chaos and the drama to actual, what is the plan? What are we going to do? How are we going to do it? And that means leadership. That means people in leadership roles. People who actually can advise you on what to do. People who can tell you how to get healthy. I'm one of those people. If you're not incorporating your light body, you're missing out, okay? If you're leaving it at the stuff of the mind like pendulums and numbers, you're going to find at some point that that doesn't serve you because your soul is helping you to outpace that stuff. 
so that it literally can come through your body and that you are a living, breathing channel of development and growth and positivity and love. Okay, so um, the other thing about this energy is there is a huge closure of cycle uh, that goes way back in time for soulmate connections. Okay, now soulmates can be dandy. Okay, you hear it. There's a sense of familiarity like you've known them before, right? That's a soulmate. But sometimes they're like an old dingy slipper that you've had there and you just slip it on when you come and it's just another grungy thing around your house. When does a soulmate start being that to you and is no longer exciting? They can no longer, you know, blow up your skirt or anything like that. This happens. And you know when it happens, unfortunately for a lot of people, it happens in their marriages, it happens in their long-term relationships. And the mind tries to rationalize why. Why would this happen, okay? People are making a living trying to keep those soulmates together, but in the bigger picture, there's actually someone better. There's someone new, there's someone exciting, refreshing, and not just trying to glue together the same old thing. So what may not be known is that as the result of these larger energies pushing, some people will take that leap of faith because the energy is here to encourage you. And that actually is the force of love, the force of love energy, which is to encourage you. On New Year's Day of this year, I was doing a little bit of house cleaning and a card fell out. And it was the zero card, the fool. But what that told me was I, I was elated. I was like, oh my God, this is stupendous. This is amazing. Because what that told me was fresh start. People get to be that pure, innocent, loving person again without the taint of the past, without the poison and the toxin of the past. And they really get to do it. They really get to go to that zero point and really feel what this love is all about. And believe me when I tell you, when the cards find me, you know, I'm not trying to be arrogant about this, but when a card literally almost falls out and leaps right at me and I stare at it just like that, there's no denying it because the emphasis of the message just hits me in the heart. And this is one of the differences that uh, people learn through my work is where you're feeling beyond any reasonable doubt that what it is, what it means, what is the message for you? What is the crystal clear message just for you? Not letting your head mull it around and go like, well, what could that possibly have meant? I'm going to ask the universe for five more signs. I'm going to ask God to confirm it. No where it just comes right through you and is unmistakable and you literally feel like thanking God on bended knee. Now, the way that this journey started for me, I was like that. I was like thanking God on bended knee because the feelings and the sensations were something I was looking for my whole life, even from the time of a child, not understanding that I'm allergic to earth <laughs> or shall I say I'm allergic to earth stuff. And so it's been a constant state of navigating what goes on here. And I have another friend and she will every single time say, I missed that day in class about bullying. I missed that day in class about the violence and all this and that. And yeah, some people are like that. It literally is very baffling to them. Why do people act and behave so crazy here? And yet I'm here to tell you, there is a level, it's a vibrational level only, and you may hear the word up-leveling, you may hear the shift. That is when your body gets to the vibration where you literally feel like all that stuff is under you. Not beneath you in the sense that other people are, like you're being derogatory towards them, but in the sense that somehow it is not touching you. And this has been spoken of when it, you know, it's been said, you're, you're walking one foot off the ground. Yes, you are because you feel like that because even though you see stuff, it's not touching you personally and yet you can still have compassion. 
Now, if these things are of interest to you and you would really like to learn and you would really like to know how do I do that? Like really, how do I engage my light body? How do I commune with my higher self? How do I commune with my twin flame? How do I not just do some, you know, uh, other thing like, you know, try to call them on the phone? Listen, when you get a, a message or a feeling that makes you feel like you're supposed to reach out, you're supposed to learn this. You're supposed to learn a true communion with your twin flame. Now pick up the phone because that person won't even know what the hell you're talking about. Not reach out, not DM them, not, don't DM to your, your DM. Chances are they're not going to because you have to have to connect on another level and make that connection because that is truly how we communicate in this other level and in 5D. We don't use devices. We don't use telephones and send up smoke signals and flares. And, you know, some people are like that. <laughs> They'll send off a flare thinking, you know, this is an emergency. They really need to reach out. And like that person can't even detect it. Why? Because of the mind. Because of the way the mind works, how your day in and day out life goes. And you may feel like you're super sensitive to everything else and they're not detecting a thing. Well, it may be time to join my webinar, which is on empaths and super sensitives and people who feel their gifts are opening and healers. If you're a healer, if you work in customer service, if you are someone who actually deals with a lot of people and you feel stuff from them and you almost feel like they're contagious, like their stuff is toxic and it's affecting you. It's time to join and learn how to do this. So check the links below in the description. Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and we do group webinars. I do one almost every month. I will also be in Boston at the end of May. So if you're in that area, um, I will, I'm trying to arrange a, some kind of uh, meetup. So I hope that uh, that would work out. But if you have questions, reach out, okay? Because there is a whole new level of ease that you can have for your journey. I specialize in it. And I specialize in getting you to feel some really high level experiences of what you should feel. Because that, that, that is the hope that it continues, that takes you beyond hope. It's no longer blind faith. You're literally experiencing it. So hope you have a good day and hope to see you there. Bye.